Mom? Yeah. What, what would you think our ancestors, like Thomas Brigham, for example, would yes. think about this whole city hall being used as a plaza? Um, you know, the deal with your ancestors is uh, they hung out in Massachusetts. Um, I want to say, you know, maybe one generation after the American Revolution, then they started moving west. Yeah. Uh, so I think your ancestors would think this is pretty awesome. They are definitely of the American mindset of we got to build, we got to improve. You know, let's keep let's keep going. <laughs> let's not rest on our laurels. So I yeah. think that I think they think this is cool. Now, yeah. the other cool thing down here at our feet, I think I found it. Um, so yeah, so this is we have the old fort right there, and we are right here. This is 85 Broad Street. This is the site of the original um, city hall. And again, I told you, this was the original city hall was built in 1641. And in 1644, um, in 1644, there were 11 enslaved Africans uh, who petitioned their government for their freedom. And that probably happened right here on the spot where I'm standing. And I, it's 130 years before the American Revolution. It is one of the most visionary inflection points in terms of what it means for our country, what it means to be Americans, petitioning the government for our rights, specifically enslaved people petitioning the government for their freedom. They were only given half freedom in return. It should have been more. Uh, you know, it got worse, unfortunately, before it got better. Um, and but it was a start. But it was a start. It was a very important start. Um, and I think that's probably a really good place to, uh, to end our video. You know, um, I really think reparations is really important. I think we need to repair some of the history that happened uh, in this country. I mean, hey, she's a history nerd. And she researches literal artifacts, literal like metry you know, in the history of like for Romans and whatnot for fun. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah. This this is fun for me. Um, yeah. It's literally fun for her, and it could be like homework for most people. <laughs> uh, it's this it's, is probably what some people would have for like exams to ever. <laughs> very least a community college or like maybe even UConn or maybe even Harvard or Yale all right well the thing that's important about history is it's about real people and the real achievements that they achieved and the real damage and the real harm that have been done to them yeah so yeah. anything we can do to repair that harm helps us all move forward on a more equal footing and that can only help so yeah, she's smarter than to have bias, so. Thanks. Listen to her, alright? Bye. <laughs>